chairman of the ANC in KwaZulu Natal, Swani Sotuma. Uh, firstly, you released a statement yesterday, Mr. Duma, saying that uh, you will be here to support the former president. In the tenure of your predecessors, uh, you know, they had to make a plea with the NEC to be able to come and show solidarity with the former president. What is the stance of this new provincial executive committee? Thank you so much. I'm sure you are aware that it was a resolution of the conference that this PEC must ensure at all material time must support Comrade President Zuma. So it is critical that is one of our own, is a stalwart of the ANC at all times when he appears in court. It is a resolution that he must be supported and I think it's the right thing to do. Although today is a historic day because he's the one who was advancing on public on private prosecution in ensuring that the downers of this world, the Mokans of this world, are also sitting on the dock. I think it is critical for us that because we've been seeing the judiciary has not transformed, but stately we are seeing that they must also partake in this journey, which is painful. Mshalos has been facing this process since 2004-2005. How, is, how do you explain, Mr. Duma, the ANC, uh, some, uh, an organization that's been a champion of media freedom, publicly and organizing against a journalist? You as the ANC in KwaZulu-Natal have said that you've organized people here today. How do you feel about organizing against a journalism and yet you claim to be champions of media freedom? You've clearly taken a stance. This can be interpreted as you actually descending into a, a space of populism and a space where you are no longer actually balancing what is happening outside in court and within the political arena. I'm sure we must just distinguish and understand the issue of ideological superstructure. Media freedom is something that is protected. It is even enshrined in the constitution. But we must be clinical on, so on the understanding of media overreach. In some instances, we've seen journalists encroaching on people's rights, on human rights, so it must be dealt with correctly. And Moken is one of those. So